Hey everybody, welcome back. My very first budget microphone was made by Comica. It was the CVM V30 Lite. It's a small but still popular budget shotgun mic and it's on Amazon today for just under $40. Although it served me well, once I moved on to more expensive mics, I pretty much associated Comica with that low budget, good enough audio gear. Then I kept seeing this new mic rising in the ranks of new and inventive gear and had to see for myself if this was a gimmick and I wasn't disappointed. The Comica TrackShot transformable all-in-one shotgun mic has reliability and flexibility working in its favor, so let's go check it out. And if you're new here and love anything related to affordable media, audio, video, and aerial production, please consider subscribing. Comica reached out to me to review this, and please remember, Tech reviewers have to agree to review their products, so this is my choice, and I'm not under any obligation or influence to provide anything other than my true and honest opinion. Real quick, let's take a look inside the box. Last year, Deity dropped the D4 Duo, and it quickly became very popular due to its ability to record both front and back without having to switch mic directions. The TrackShot provides the same thing, but also provides an adjustable stereo function that made me love this mic even more. Check out the directional travel of the left to right audio signal in stereo atmosphere. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. And I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. This is one of the first things I did and I was so impressed with the automatic stereo leveling. Another thing I love is a simple scroll wheel to adjust the gain and check levels on the small LCD screen on the back of it. Whatever orientation you wish to use your mic in, you just simply press the matching mode button to get the best result. This microphone can also increase the workflow while performing studio walkthroughs, interviews, or realtor reviews due to the rear-facing mic for narrating and strong talking points. Now let's get this outside so we can compare some audio samples of the track shot with my original budget Comica V30 shotgun, the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus, and the Deity D4 Duo. I am not adding any audio filters or altering the sound whatsoever to give you the best raw result, but I will be using a dead cat on all of them on top of my Canon EOS R. First off, here we have the track shot. I'm about 18 inches away from the camera, so this is the track shot. Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. Next is the V30. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. Mom in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. Next is the road. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew with a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. And now we have the D4 Duo. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below when what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. And now back to the tracks shot. With a little old driver so lively and quick, well I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and he shouted, and he called them by name. It performs better than the D4 duo in the sense of evenly balanced volume levels. When what do my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With the old driver so lively and quick, well I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles his courses they came, and he whistled and he shouted and he called them by name. O oh, Dasher, O oh, Dancer, O oh, Prancer and Vixen, on Comet and Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. 
And here's the comparison of the front back levels of the track shot. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricanes fly, when they meet to an obstacle mount to the sky. So up to the rooftop, the coursers they flew with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing, the pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. This is the Hero 10. Now you would think that you'd be able to see this microphone, but it's raised up high enough to where you can't see it in the GoPro Hero 10 in wide angle mode. It's gonna be a different story though if we go check out the Insta360, so let's see what we got. Now this is the Insta360 1R with the one inch Leica lens, and I know you can actually see the dead cat in this one, but like I said, I like to shoot in linear, and so that will get cropped out anyways. But all in all, a very good result. The GoPro Hero 10 did not show up whatsoever, but if you use the GoPro Hero 9 with the Max Lens Mod, then you will see it very easily. I love using the Insta360 for vlogging, but again, with this mic, you can catch a glimpse of the dead cat until you're in a linear screen orientation. But this is what I prefer, so having a softer, more natural image with the audio improvement over the V30 or the DR40, I must say, I love my vlogging setup. If I've made a believer out of you, please hit that like button. And if you purchase this, please use the links down below. I'll have all of these microphones linked there. So if you prefer any of them, I get a little bit of kickback at no cost to you. We have even more gear on the way and I just can't wait to show you a couple of really cool pieces of tech. So please consider sticking around to see some helpful gear. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great week.